Okay, thank you very much for your introduction. It's a great honor in Lisbon representing at this meeting. Uh, I, today, I would like to speak about the preliminary result from our endovascular aortic repair trial for the type B aortic dissection. In Japan, the incident rate of the aortic dissection is uh, 57 cases per million every year. This rate is over three times as the incident rate of the U.S. and Europe. One reason may be that related to the ethnicity. Typically, we divide the aortic dissection into the two groups, the named acute and chronic, uh, based on the 14 days from the onset. <coughs> Mainly, in the May, Many suggest that the TBER, the outcome in the acute phase is uh, favorable, whereas uh, the in chronic phase is uh, not. Uh, this paper in this slide was uh, also the, of the same opinion. However, I think uh, that the uh, definition of the dividing the aortic dissection at the 14 days is uh, main sense is very thin. I believe uh, that the factor by which the TBA can be used uh, with a successful long-term outcome need to be uh, re-evaluated. In relation to these factors, aortic remodeling of the aortic dissection after TBA uh, has been increasingly popular. Aortic uh, remodeling uh, resulted in the true lumen enlarging and the false lumen shrinking during the follow-up after TBER. However, uh, there has not been any evidence uh, that aortic remodeling has the efficacy of the long-term outcome in TBER. So uh, the aim of this study was uh, to elucidate our long-term result with TBER for the acute and chronic type aortic dissection and to define the predictive factor to the achieve less late aortic event for the TBA. Indication for the TBA in our institution included the complicated type, for example, rupture and uh, malperfusion, and the aortic diameter the over 40 millimeter after onset of the dissection. And the aortic diameter enlarged during the follow-up over 50 millimeter and rapid enlargement um, by the at least five millimeter within the a year. Treatment strategy uh, for the type B aortic dissection in this study uh, is uh, all entry closure in the thoracic aorta uh, with a minimum coverage using a short devices. And we should use a non-dissected area for the uh, proximal landing zone. When making the, our own handmade stand graft, the proximal dynamic of the stand graft was oversized 10 to 20 percent of native yield, and the distal dynamic was oversized 5 to 10 percent uh, in order not to create new internal tear. In terms of the aortic remodeling, CT scan image and evaluated. We defined the aortic remodeling for the uh, two lumen index over 1.2 and fourth lumen index under 0.8. Two lumen index was calculated by uh, two lumen uh, area at six months after TBA divided by the preoperative uh, two lumen area. Fourth lumen index was calculated in the same fashion. From the 2004 uh, to the 2010, we performed the TBER for the type B aortic dissection in 44 cases, as shown in this slide. And uh, in a previous patient profiles, and the mean age of the patient is 61 years old, and the aortic pathologies, there are 16 acute dissections. And uh, regarding the preoperative uh, complications, coronary artery disease had a high occurrence in this study. 
And the Goa Tagun was approved in Japan in 1990, uh, 2009. So until the 2008, we had to use our own uh, handmade devices. And we used several uh, additional procedures to achieve uh, complete success by TIBA, as you can see in this slide. Here we can see the early result in our study. Uh, procedure success is a 96 percent, and the mortality rate within the 30 days was 0 percent. About the post-operative complications, uh, the uh, one patient had an uh, embolism to the uh, lower ribs, and about the uh, end leaks, there are type one end leak in two cases, and the type two type two in the three cases. I would like to show you the long-term result, the follow-up uh, follow period in the 32 months, and the follow-up completion, the 100%. All cause survival rate was 100% one year, and 91% uh, uh, in the three and five years. Freedom rate from the outing event was 89% uh, in the one year, 74% in three years, and 57 percent and five years. I would like to show you the risk factor analysis in this slide. The Cox proportional uh, hazard model was used to identify uh, predominant predictor for the Arctic event throughout follow-up. Analysis of the factor involved in the Arctic event revealed that Arctic remodeling at six months after TIBOR was the only dominant and independent factor. So the, we divided the patient into two groups by the presence or the absence of the Arctic remodeling. Freedom from the Arctic event of the Arctic remodeling group was significantly higher than that of the non-remodeling group. In conclusion, uh, we could achieve the excellent early and long-term result of the TIBA for the type B outing dissection. Outing remodeling after six months could be a predictor uh, of the better long-term result in the TIBA for the type B outing dissection. This result suggests that TIBA providing the outing remodeling at six months could be a curative treatment for the type B outing dissection. Thank you for your time and attention.